contest is a one fall match with a 30 minute time limit. Introducing first. He makes his way down the aisle from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing 242 pounds, Hammerstone. Hammerstone has made no bones about it. He seemed to feed off of that competition. You just got a sense that these two loved going to war with one another. And Hammerstone has made it clear that tonight he intends to finish what he feels he started in their first encounter. I mean, if you think about it, their first encounter was only two months ago. The beginning of December, we're now towards the end of January. And right after that match ended, we got more tweets, more fan mail about a potential rematch to see these two titans meet in the ring one more time. Tonight we have the privilege to see it again. And if you've never seen Brian Cage, you are in for a treat. His opponent. Making his way to the ring from the 559, weighing 264 pounds. He is the Swolverine, Mr. GMSI, Brian Cage. The effing machine, Brian Cage, has made a huge impact since erupting back on the scene here at PCW Ultra. Came razor close in a matchup with then champion Johnny Ultra and winning the PCW Ultra heavyweight title and his second match back was against that man, Hammerstone. And what a modern day clash of the Titans that was. And here we go, you ready for round two? Nice. Hammerstone, get the advantage. Hell yeah. And why wait for the bell if you're Hammerstone? Unable to get the victory last time. And in the rematch, he's not messing around. This match still unofficial. Hammerstone with a Valkyrie missile, that big shot upstairs in the opening seconds. He's got the effing machine rocked and they go to the outside. Oh yeah, and here it is. And now they're brawling in the crowd in a huge chair shot by Hammer. This is exactly how things began to become unraveled last time, a big war on the outside that eventually had to be thrown out after official Rick Knox, who, who did he piss off to get the assignment for this one two times in a row? Called well, an end to the action and letting a lot go right now. You have to have a veteran like Rick Knox in a, in a match like this. These two men are gonna pull out all the stops to try to get the victory. Hammer, already using chairs and foreign objects on the outside of the ring, but no DQ because this match hasn't officially started yet. A lot of extra curricular here by Hammerstone. Got the jump on him. Said he was gonna finish what he started, looking to live up to that. As now he sends him into the ring, this match will have its official start. And Hammerstone with the early advantage. He is measuring the effing machine. Nice reversal there by Cage. Ooh. Sticks him with the power bomb. Massive power bomb by Brian Cage. And Hammer goes from the advantage to the disadvantage with a snap of a power bomb. Brian Cage has come close on a number of occasions to win the heavyweight title here in PCW Ultra. He was in the finals of that big tidal wave tournament. Losing to Pentel Cerro Mieto, but weathering the storm and taking the advantage and rocking Hammerstone with those clotheslines in the corner. And this one of his signatures, if he can execute it, perhaps that big suspended springboard suplex. Ryan Cage, one of the most powerful professional wrestlers on planet Earth, displaying it there. And Hammer is in big trouble. And this is not good for Hammerstone. I think Hammerstone second guessing that cheap shot now. Hammerstone coming in hot in this match, using some chairs to his advantage, hitting Cage from behind. Second suspended 
Suplex into the cover, is that gonna do it? Hammerstone kicking out. And again, when these two face each other, Christian, do they find themselves in unfamiliar territory? Neither guy is used to being overpowered. Both men, in, in, you're exactly right, Todd. Both men usually in control in the power game. I would say it's actually even. Brian Cage with a little bit of extra size, but Hammerstone, one of the most powerful competitors in our business. Look at that. Short cutter there. Short flight, bad landing for Brian Cage. Swing and a miss as Ooh. Hammerstone using his agility in which he might have a slight advantage. Missile drop kick off the top. He floored Cage with that in the first contest. He does so again, looking for the cover, only a count of two. Hammer with a rough landing there after that missile drop kick landing on the back of his neck and shoulders. And that's it. I mean, when you're this buff and strong and handsome, by the way, is Hammer, sometimes these offensive maneuvers can actually affect you. Ooh. And Hammer now taking that big knee. All right, well, why my, my partner is enamored with the He's just looks such of a, these two opponents. Such I'm going to get back to the man. action in that huge shot at big flying knee. And it might be judgment day here for Hammerstone if you catch my drift. Another dorky Terminator 2 reference from Todd Kennelly. Welcome to PCW Ultra's broadcast booth. I think that was the first one tonight, actually. Brian Cage, the effing machine, trying to get something going from the second rope, but cut off again by Hammerstone. I was going to say cut off by the big man, but that would be redundant in this matchup. Oh, wow, look at this. Able to get out. Ooh. Buckle bomb now, and upstairs, Valkyrie missile. Drops him again, Christian. And you got to love that. After taking a power bomb into the top buckle, did Hammerstone. He recovered almost instantaneously and dropped that big foot to the mouth of Brian Cage. Valkyrie missile must be heat seeking because it was right on target. And how many guys do you know that can drop the effing machine with a single strike? Well, you could say something, something about both of these two men. When you look at them, they look like bodybuilders. They look like Greek gods. You're not sure if maybe how fast they are. And then they get in their ring and they, ooh, and they prove it to you over and over again that these men are both about athleticism. They're about in-ring IQ. And that's what makes them so great. It's not just the strength. They have uncanny agility for their size. Both guys have shown the ability to close the gap. Oh, Hammerstone catches him with an exploder suplex right into the corner. And I believe the FM Machine's knee got hung up there and that could be instrumental in this matchup, Christian. Certainly could. As you can hear the fans giving a little love to PC Dub. And Hammer, you can see the look in his eyes. What is he thinking here, Todd? Hammer's trying to keep that full core press that quite frankly he's had since the opening bell. He got the jump on the FM Machine. Ooh. Discus clothesline, another one of his signatures. Hammerstone's Rocky might be out. Neither man wants to lose this match. And of course, no competitor in PCW Ultra ever wants to lose, but this one means so much more as it's a rematch. We want to see a victor. Who's the better man? PCW Ultra about bringing you the very best. This big Haas fight about bringing you unique first-time matches. Last time they faced off, it was just that inside cradle by Hammerstone. Could it come down to fundamental wrestling? So close there for Hammer. Ooh, and a discus by Hammer. Now both men have hit one of those beautiful discus elbows. Oh, no! Nightmare Pendulum, you gotta be kidding me! Oh. And that's not enough. What is it gonna take? And I could have swore that that was gonna be three. That Nightmare Pendulum usually puts most light heavyweights away, but since Hammer moved up to this heavyweight division, only two, he's been able to hit those and Unable to cover for three. The doubt starts to set in. How many people has Hammerstone here in PCW Ultra annihilated, put away for good with that nightmare pendulum? He's hit that. He's hit the Valkyrie missile. He's hit those, those emphatic strikes, and, and it's still not enough as Cage keeps coming. Brian Cage is a scary dude. Trying to get his wits now. You don't want to let him get up to a vertical base. Get all the way down to that endoskeleton of the Terminator here. 
Page rocked. Spinebuster delivered. And it might be time to play the game here, partner. The intensity turns into a wry smile on the face of Hammerstone. Back to intensity. Counter. Thought he was going to go for that flip and sit bomb. Well, maybe now part two with the power bomb. He's got him up, though. The strength of Brian Cage connects with the F and five. Hooks the leg. Oh, man. Fraction of a second away. So close. And you rarely see Brian Cage with this much exhaustion in a match as he's having so much trouble putting away the heavyweight Hammerstone. Usually by this point, Brian Cage would be back in the locker room, ready to head home with a victory. That's right, it's really even Steven. Now that the shoe's on the other foot. We, the Arsenal Hammerstone earlier, and now how many people has Cage put away with some of these maneuvers, and it's not been enough. Oh man, Hammerstone caught him right in the eye on the way in, caught him with that boot. And there it is, yes! He finally hits it! A pedigree from Hammerstone! And that's it! Oh! Your winner of the match, Hammerstone! You talk about Greek gods, you talk about mythical kings. Maybe Hammerstone, the king of kings here in the heavyweight division in PCW Ultra. Scores with the pedigree. And when your opponent has an answer for everything that you throw at them, maybe you gotta dig really deep into that playbook. What a performance by both of these men. But the better man yesterday, today, and tomorrow is Hammerstone. This is a statement-making victory here in PCW Ultra for Hammerstone against a guy that has been positioned right at the top of the heap in the heavyweight division, talking about the effing machine, Ryan Cage. But this was a sequel that lived up to the billing. This was Blockbuster here.